When it comes to cooking, nothing brings out the flavor and intensifies the experience more than roasting. Something magical happens when you place fresh, quality ingredients into a hot oven. And today's menu will prove it. I've got a tender pork loin that I'm going to roast with fresh herbs and fragrant olive oil and finish with a sweet sauce of figs and port wine. I'll roast fennel to bring out the earthy licorice flavor and top it with sharp Parmesan cheese. It's a unique side dish that everyone will love. And for dessert, I'll caramelize juicy pears and serve them warm with scoops of ice cream. Fire up the ovens and get ready to fill your kitchens with some intoxicating aromas. We're going to roast a killer Italian feast. Roast pork loin takes hardly any preparation. I simply cook the pork with fresh rosemary and olive oil. But the sauce is a surprise. Figs, honey, and port wine reduced to a thick, sweet syrup. Pork loin with figs and port sauce is classy enough to impress company and easy enough for a family dinner. Pork with a sweet sauce is a classic combination. And this is my version of the pork with applesauce. It's actually pork with fig sauce. It's going to be fantastic. So the first thing I'm going to do is make my rub to put on the pork, because I got to flavor it really well. That way, it's got a lot of taste. So I'm just going to use one um, rosemary stalk. I'm just going to use the leaves, and we're going to chop them. And rosemary is one of the most used herbs in Italian cooking, because you know what? It grows so readily all over Italy. And rosemary kind of tastes like, um, like pine. So it's fresh, but, yes, it's, but yet it's very pungent. And we're going to have a little bit of salt. OK, and now some fresh ground black pepper. And it's so important to flavor pork because it has such a mild flavor and it has very little fat on it. You need to put a lot of flavoring on it. Herbs, olive oil, salt, pepper, very important. OK, so now we have our little rub here. I'm just going to mix it up. And I'm just going to pour it all over this pork. And the pork loin is a very tender piece of meat, so it doesn't need a lot of cooking. Roasting is really a dry heat. It's cooked in the oven at a high temperature, so it creates a nice crust on the outside and a lot of flavoring. And then on the inside, you'll have a moist piece of meat. OK, so it's really, roasting is ideal for pork. Perfect. I'm going to put it in the oven for 45 minutes at 425 degrees. And I want to turn it about every 15 minutes so I get a nice golden crust all the way around the pork. OK, now while that's cooking, I'm going to make the sauce for my pork loin. So I'm going to make a fig sauce, really sweet and really good. So I'm going to use two and a half cups of port. And port is a sweet, fortified wine. And normally, it's an after-dinner drink. But it adds so much depth and richness to my fig sauce. And port got its name from the coastal city Oporto, which is a Portuguese coastal city, where it was first originally shipped out of. All right, so another about a half a cup. And I guess you could use red wine if you wanted to instead of port. But I love that sweet flavor. And it works so well with the sweetness of the figs. All right, so now we need some chicken stock to dilute it a little bit. And it's low sodium chicken stock. You could use water, but again, flavor. We need lots of flavor for our pork. And the highlight, my dried figs. And these are mission figs. And the reason I'm using dried figs is because they're chewy and they have an intense sweet flavor that is really going to bring this sauce together. Now, the chewiness, when I blend it, because later on I'm going to blend it, is going to bind the sauce. And the sweetness is basically replaces cooked apples. So it makes it easy. You know, years ago, my mom used to make it with fresh figs. But you can't find fresh figs all year round here. So I started making it with dry figs. And I actually ended up liking it even more. So it works perfectly. I'm just going to cut them up just so they reduce in this liquid. And now we need mm, two sticks of cinnamon. 
Why cinnamon? Because it's sweet and it works perfectly with the rest of the ingredients in here. And it's sweet, but it also has a little bit of spice. So that's why I like it so much. And now we're gonna use two sprigs of rosemary. We used rosemary to flavor the, the pork, so we're gonna use a little bit of rosemary in here as well. We'll put that in there. And we'll take the stalks out later, so you don't have to worry about taking all the leaves off. And some honey, thick, sweet honey. And about a tablespoon of honey. And again, this will thicken it a little bit more. So this is gonna simmer for half hour. It's gonna reduce by half and become thick, velvety, and fantastic. But later on, I'm gonna make my favorite vegetable, roasted fennel with Parmesan.